Hey guys, what's happening? Saber here with my initial pack openings for FIFA 13. As you can see, I finally got access to the web app, which is going up tonight for general use. But I found a link through EA's forum, which is in the description below, so check that out. Make sure you get your packs before the rush and before the servers crash, as they are prone to do with EA. So all you have to do is copy and paste the link that is in the description into your web address bar, go to that site and insert your security question answer. Uh, from there then I went to the address once again to be sure to be sure and it allowed me into the web app. From there you're able to just open your initial packs, you're able to name your club. If you had a club before it'll ask you if you want to keep your same name and of course I did. Now this as you can see here is my PC version which I had last year. You'll see my Xbox version later on as well. So nothing too exciting, nothing to write home about just yet. Loads and loads of bronze cards. But sure, they form a basic foundation to build upon later on. And of course, if nothing else, they're worthwhile to discard or trade and so on. Then we move on to the daily gifts. This is something that EA has started to try and encourage a bit of loyalty to, to encourage you to come back to the web app day after day just so you can get that. Maybe it's a small pack, maybe it's a few coins. Here I was lucky enough, a thousand coins. But unfortunately, as I said, it's the PC version, which I tend not to use anyway, except for various series. I was doing 400 to Fortune last year. So maybe I'll do something again with that this year. Uh, the pack's not bad at all, as you can see here, a couple from the Premiership, a couple from Serie A, so they might fetch a small fortune, just something to get me started anyway. You get a couple of different packs depending on when you actually set up your account. Because this one it was from last year, I got three different packs, but my Xbox version is a FUT Founder, so I get two gold packs and two of the All Players packs. So it's handy enough, it's a good foundation, it's a good start up. And of course it's free, so you can't argue with that. Into the second pack, as you can see cleverly, a couple of Premiership players as well. So really, really happy with that. That should do well once the game comes out, because there are certain leagues that are more popular than others. Premiership, of course, is one. And if you get a couple of players from the top four teams, you're in a good stead from there. A couple of players here, as you can see, a few of the shiny versions, which is always nice to see. Got one of the fast bronzes as well, so that should fetch a pretty penny. And that's it from the PC side of things. So moving on into the Xbox side. And as you can see, Renford rejects the A team. This is the team that you go to. Not too original with names, of course. Butcher, Renford rejects, Renford rejects B. It's the way to go. So these are my initial players. Once again, a load of Irish and a load of English players. English players are pretty much a good foundation for your bronze team because they're typically the most common ones to get in bronze packs. They tend to be an all right quality as well, an all right standard. The Irish guys, on the other hand, seem to be the slowest players in the world. So I probably won't focus too much on them. And once again, daily gift, 500 coins. It's a bit of slap in the face when you get a better one for your PC one than you do for the Xbox one, which I will actually use in the days ahead. Nothing too exciting from the first gold pack. Pretty much a mixed bag. The contracts will be useful later on when the game gets released. There's not much point trading them now, I would say. Not if you're going for profit because... No one needs contracts at the moment, no one is playing games, but they're handy to have as soon as the game launches because that's when they'll become valuable. Now I'm thinking of streaming tonight as well, that's another thing I should mention, twitch.tv forward slash saber0001. If you can come along, join me, pick up some trading tips, maybe give me some trading tips, and we'll see if we can conquer the market together. Because, you know, two heads are better than the one, so if I can get ten viewers maybe, then ten heads are definitely better than me and you might be able to educate me into the ways of the market. These are the players that I'm going to be buying, selling, and making teams out of. So of course you get an insight into the way I'm thinking when I'm making my teams, the way I'm thinking when I'm going to be doing trading and stuff like that. And it could be a bit of fun, maybe do a bit of Q&A, maybe get some gameplay going when all is said and done as well. So into the final goal pack, as you can see here now, a couple of players, but mainly just consumables. So they're not the most exciting packs in the world, but sure they'll do, as I've said, they're a good start. They're free, so I can't argue too much with that, and there's something to work off from day one. So, thanks very much, guys. Hopefully you'll join me for the stream tonight, and I'll catch you very soon with more FIFA 13 content and pack openings and so on.